You may already know hydrogen as the H in H2O, but did you know it's actually the most abundant chemical element in the universe? Hydrogen's natural abundance is why its potential as a source of green energy is so exciting. In fact, we're already using it to fuel vehicles in parts of the world, stretching from California to Japan. Hydrogen refueling stations have already popped up in countries like Germany, South Korea and the United States. Industries, including steel, cement and chemicals, produce 16% of UK emissions and rely on processes that are among the most difficult and expensive to decarbonise. But if they swapped fossil fuels for hydrogen, this could have a big impact, as Britain works towards reaching net zero by 2050. And, in the future, we could use hydrogen to heat our homes and businesses. Currently, natural gas supplies heat to 85% of homes in the UK and contributes 40% of the UK's electricity. However, producing energy from natural gas creates CO2, a greenhouse gas. When we burn hydrogen, water is the only emission, so it could make a huge difference to our carbon emissions and will be critical to achieving net zero. To use hydrogen as an energy source, we need it in the form of a gas. We rarely find hydrogen gas in nature, but we have a few different ways of producing it. Grey hydrogen, currently the most common, is produced from natural gas using steam methane reformation, but it fails to capture the carbon emissions produced in the process. While less common, blue hydrogen is in use and could be scaled up. It's produced in the same way as grey hydrogen, but uses carbon capture and storage to prevent most emissions, making it a low carbon option. Green hydrogen, the carbon free option, is produced using clean electricity from renewable sources, so no greenhouse gas emissions. The benefits of green hydrogen are undeniable and producing more of it in the future will help us reach net zero. Once we produce hydrogen, we still need to get it to people who can use it. The UK already has an extensive gas network in place, so we're looking at whether we can use that. We probably can, but it will take some work. Hydrogen and methane gases have some important differences, so we need to test how our pipe network will perform, and we're exploring how we might need to adapt to the parts or processes we currently have. Our Future Grid project will build an offline hydrogen test facility and test the effect of increasing concentrations of hydrogen up to 100%. The project has been designed specifically to develop a thorough understanding of the differences between natural gas and hydrogen. We're exploring a hydrogen backbone through Project Union. This is a network to connect industrial clusters around the country. Then, in the future, it will allow us to use hydrogen for powering factories, for HGVs or buses, or to heat our homes. Our future homes would have to be fitted out with some new infrastructure or new kit. Like with the shift to digital television, we know the change is coming and can plan accordingly to make the switch over as simple and straightforward as possible, which will help us move forward in achieving net zero and creating a cleaner, greener energy future for all.